Thanks very much for coming to the UK Pharmacogenetic Stratified Medicine Network meeting. It's our 10th annual open meeting. My name is Munir Pur Mohammed. I formed uh, the network many years ago uh, when my hair was less grey uh, and, uh, and have been leading it since then. So um, it's about a year since we had our last meeting here. Lots happened in that later year. Um, obviously, we are no longer in a pandemic and we have to live with COVID. And we are with our, on our third prime minister in the last year. That was my best joke. You had to laugh at that. <laughs> okay. So um, let's, uh, let me just tell you about what's been happening with the uh, network. More than 200 people registered for this meeting uh, this time. So thank you very much, everybody who is attending. Uh, a few are online, but the majority are in person. Although we are a UK-based network, we are international, and we've got representatives uh, from many countries, as you can see here, uh, which is great. And you know, we do liaise and uh, coordinate with other international networks, particularly the US uh, PGRN as well. Uh, the, sort of, the fact that a meeting has regular tenders means that people think it's a good meeting and they come back regularly. It's just like going to Tesco's because you like Tesco's, you go to Tesco's frequently and so on. Um, but we don't have a club card. <laughs> so so but it's great to be able to see people who do come regularly, but we have new attenders as well. And the important thing about this is that the majority, I'm a pharmacologist, clinical pharmacologist, but the majority of people who are uh, here are not pharmacologists. And that's important, you know, majority, you know, we have clinicians and non-clinicians. And it's important that this is interdisciplinary because the area of uh, precision, personalized medicine is really very much multidisciplinary and so on. So it is important that the network continues uh, in that vein. So over the last year, apart from this annual meeting, we have had some workshops uh, which were very well attended. So the first one uh, was held at the Spine at the Royal College of Physicians in the North uh, in Liverpool, uh, and it was very well attended, a fantastic uh, program uh, with lots of companies presenting their decision support systems. And we also worked uh, with, with various people to be able to, including ABPI, to look at the pharmacogenetics and drug discovery. So, the, and, and the presentations from those uh, particular workshops are available. Now, I mentioned last year that we were looking at how the network can be supported over uh, the long term. Uh, so f at the moment, it's been supported through uh, funding from uh, you know, sort of, uh, the fees for attending the network, etc. Uh, but membership is actually free. But so what I've been doing is we've been talking to the British Pharmacological Society, and the network will be um, supported uh, by the British Pharmacological Society uh, from after July. However, the focus will be the same. We'll retain the branding, because this branding is now well known throughout the world. And it is not only about pharmacogenetics, it's about personalized and precision medicine. It will remain interdisciplinary and will continue to support early career researchers as we have been doing uh, over the last few years. And, and the steering committee that's been working with me over the last few years, thank you very much for your input into this. Uh, we'll, I'll need to work with the BPS to be able to sort out what the governance is, but I'll continue leading the network at least in the, in the, in the next uh, uh, couple of years or so. So I want to thank uh, all those of uh, contributors, but also our sponsors and exhibitors, and there are, they've got stands upstairs, so please do go and uh, talk to them and so on. So if you want to join the network, it is free, uh, and you can contact Christine McNamee at the moment still uh, in order to be able to join the network. So that's my sort of introduction finished. So what I want to do is to move on